الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلي وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله بعد وكم برذر سيسترز نو تي البروجرام اباوت ذا بروفيتس عليه الصلاه والسلام وي ار توك اباوت ذا بروفيت هود عليه الصلاه والسلام فيري انتريستينج ستوري very important story there are a lot of lessons from the story of Hud alayhi salatu wassalam we came to the point when Hud alayhi salatu wassalam declared that I challenge you Hud alayhi salatu wassalam said qala inni ushidu Allah wa shahadu anni bari'un mimma tushrikun okay I am free from whatever you associate with Allah then he said min duni فَكِيدُونِي جَمِيعًا ثُمَّ لَا تُنْذِرُونَ I am free from whatever you associate with Allah other than Him, so plot against me all together. Then don't give me respite. Don't give me any chance. Don't delay your punishment. So Hud alayhi salatu wasam declared that I challenge you. This is between me and you. If you insist to worship the idols, if you insist not to worship Allah alone, I insist to worship Allah alone. My Lord, is I have only one Lord. I have only one God. My Lord and my God, Allah, is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And He is my supporter. He is my helper. So now, what is the challenge? فَكِيدُونِ جَمِيعًا He said to them, to His people, so plot against me all together, which means do a plan. Not only one group of you or two groups, all of you. And as we mentioned that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the people of Hud, I mean Ad, He gave them the power, huge bodies. Okay, I mean everyone, Iram, Da'at al-Imad, pillars, very high pillars, their tents. Okay, maybe everyone 30 meters or 25 meters. Subhanallah, very strong. They build houses on, on, on mountains and everywhere. So, Hud alayhi salatu wasalam said, فَكِيدُونِ جَمِيعَةٌ مَلَا تُنْذِرُونَ Okay, so plot against me altogether and then don't give me respite. Which means now. Try to kill me now. Try to plot against me now. Okay, if you are not going to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, who would alayhi salatu wasam wants to show them that you are weak, whatever that Allah, whatever you have, okay, and how much your power was, but you cannot without the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said to Abdullah ibn Abbas, his cousin. He said, وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّةَ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَتْ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ بِشَيْءٍ لَنْ يَضُرُّوكَ إِلَّا بِشَيْءٍ قَدْ كَتَبَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْكَ And no, the Prophet ﷺ said to Ibn Abbas, he was young. رضي الله تعالى عنهما. He was maybe 12, 13, something like that. And no, if the whole nation gather to harm you, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't want to harm you, they cannot. And the, some scholars say that every prophet has a, a miracle, he has a sign, or more. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us what was the miracle of Musa. It was the stick, alayhi salatu wasalam, and also the hand and others. What was the miracle of Isa, Jesus, alayhi salatu wasalam? Allah gave him uh, the, yani, to, to revive the, the dead and to uh, cure the the one who is sick. So what was the miracle of Hud alayhi salatu wasalam? The challenge. This was the miracle of Hud alayhi salatu wasalam. Also, Hud alayhi salatu wasalam emphasized that challenge by saying, إِنِّي تَوَكَّلْتُ عَلَى اللَّهِ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ Subhanallah. Indeed, I have relied upon Allah, my Lord, and your Lord. This is wallahi, a very strong situation from Hud alayhi salatu wasalam. Can you imagine, brothers and sisters, that you are a man, only one man, and everyone is against you, and you challenge them 
by this talk. Of course, this talk from a belief. Subhanallah, the strong belief leads to a strong body and a strong personality, a strong situation. Inni tawakkaltu Allah rabbi wa rabbikum. My Lord and your Lord. So this was a message from Hud to his people. That I rely on my Lord and also your Lord. Who's my Lord and your Lord? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he mentioned that. Allah, my Lord, your Lord. Then he said, as a definition of his Lord, subhanahu wa ta'ala, wa salam. ما من دابة إلا هو آخذ بناصيتها إن ربي على صراط مستقيم. There is no creature but that he holds it by its forelock. Indeed, my Lord is on path that is straight. My Lord, سبحانه وتعالى. It is very important, brothers and sisters, to speak about Allah سبحانه وتعالى. I mean, when you are arguing the non-Muslims, you should speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because the main thing makes people not to believe in Allah, ignorance, al-jahl. If people don't know who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't know the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't know the meaning of al-sami' al-alim, al-basir, al-samad, al-ahad, al-quddus, al-kareem, then people will not respect Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. People will not love Allah, but if people know who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his names, no doubt people are going to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to worship Allah. But this is one of the main problems with the non-Muslims. They don't know who is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that's why we should speak about Allah with our kids, with our friends, with the Muslims, with the non-Muslims. Speak about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This was the way of Hud and all the prophets and messengers alayhi salatu wa salam. Ma min dabba illa huwa akhidun binasiyatiha. Okay, there is no creature but that he holds it by its four luck, which means under his control. If there is a cat, lion, elephant, a mosquito, a virus, any kind of animal, subhanallah, Allah controls that animal. But, يعني, brothers and sisters, what, what is the message? The message that your gods, the gods of who, the gods of Ad, cannot do anything of that. Even they cannot provide you a cup of water. While Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Lord, sends the rain, showering the rain on us. Subhanallah. This is our Lord, brothers and sisters. That's why the names of Allah and attributes of Allah this is a very important topic for Muslims to, re to increase their faith and also for the non-Muslims to embrace Islam. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in knowledge and the beneficial knowledge. Zakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa